WhatsApp everyone this is Rakesh here once again welcome to the session of Oracle SQL so guys in our last session what we have discussed we have discussed the primary key constraint now what exactly we are going to discuss over here we are going to discuss over here foreign key constraint yes that is a topic which we are going to discuss over here so let's begin so guys what is foreign key constraint foreign key constraint is nothing but it is used to make a relationship between two columns of a two table so that is nothing but your foreign key constraint okay so guys now let's understand foreign key constraint with the help of one example so for that i need to take help of two table one table called the parent table one table called the child table okay now let's say for example we have one table called the department table which is nothing but your parent table one table we have called the employee table which is nothing but your child table okay now over here you can see both the table having some columns now one more thing you can notice over here we have one common column in the both the table which is nothing but your department underscore id column okay now if you want to make a such a kind of relationship or such a kind of rule between both the common column like that saying boss you are not supposed to insert a value in the department underscore id column of the employee table until and unless that value is not present in the uh, your department underscore id column of the department table then how you can make it this kind of rule or this kind of constraint you can make it this kind of constraint with the help of foreign key constraint and there is nothing but your foreign key constraint so what foreign key constraint says that boss you are not supposed to insert the value in the child table column until and unless it is not present in the parent table column so that is nothing but your foreign key constraint now guys one more thing i would like to tell over here you cannot delete the value from the parent table until and unless you do not delete from the child table let's say for example if you have one value called as a department 10 in the your parent table and same uh, corresponding value is in the child table uh, we have one entry over there now if you will directly try to delete from the parent table department number 10 then uh, the foreign key won't allow it will give some error why because we have one relationship between the both the table and uh, department underscore id column of the department table and the department underscore id column of the employee table and that value is present in the uh, employee table so we cannot delete it if we delete and if it is allowing then there is no point to have a relationship between the both the columns so that's the reason it won't allow so that is nothing but your foreign key and this is the thing you have to take care so uh, let me re-summarize you cannot insert the value in the child table until and unless uh, we have value same value in the parent table and you cannot delete the value until and unless we do not delete that value from the child table so that is the thing you have to take care about the foreign key constraint okay guys now let's go for the practical So guys, let's see practical part of the foreign key constraint. Over here, first we will understand what exactly the foreign key constraint is. And then later on, we will see one of the example of the foreign key constraint. Okay, so let's start. But before that, I'm going to show you the tables, which is I'm going to use over here as an example. Okay, now over here, you can see this is the department table, which is nothing but your parent table and this is your employee table which is nothing but your child table okay now let me show you the content of the both uh, tables and let me explain the what exactly the foreign key is so guys as you can see over here uh, these are the two columns available in the department table now let me show you the uh, uh, columns of the employee table you can see over here three columns are available in the employee table okay now let's understand what exactly the foreign key constraint is okay so as you can see over here uh, we have this is the content of the department table and this content is for the 
employer table okay now over here in order to understand the uh, foreign key constraint you need to concentrate only on the one column which is nothing but your department underscore id column of the employee table and uh, department under uh, dpt underscore id column of the department table okay so forget about this column these are the just for the sake of adding i have added so over here just you need to forget about this column so concentrate only on this column and this column so guys as you can see over here in the department underscore uh, id column of the department table we have 10 value over here we have a 20 value means i do not have any relationship or i do not have any foreign key constraint so what foreign key constraint says uh, foreign key constraint says that i cannot insert any value in the my child table in this table until and unless it is not present in the this uh, column so over here you can see i have 10 value but over here i have 20 value so it means that i do not have any relationship or i do not have a foreign key constraint on this column okay so this is what we have understood now if i will add the foreign key constraint on this column uh, then what will happen i cannot insert 20 over here and i cannot insert 10 over here means I cannot insert those value which are not present in the this columns okay so this is nothing but your foreign key constraint so let me repeat what exactly the foreign key constraint is foreign key constraint allows in this column those value only which are available in this column so that is nothing but your foreign key constraint now let's understand what are the things you have to take care before you add the foreign key constraint so guys let's say for example if you are trying to add the foreign key constraint on this column of the employee table then you have to identify what is the parent table and in the parent table what is the column you are trying to refer or in which column you are trying to make a relationship so over here let's say for example i have identified this is my parent table and i want to make a relationship uh, with this column then this column should be primary key constraint okay let me repeat this column should have the primary key constraint then only then you can make over here a foreign key constraint and this column you can refer over here otherwise you won't be able to refer until and unless it, it becomes the primary key constraint okay so this is the thing you have to take care so guys one more thing you have to take care over here over here whatever the parent table you have in that parent table whatever the column you are using or you are trying to make a relationship between the child table then the parent table column should have the primary key constraint over here means in our case we have a department underscore id column so this column has to be have the primary key constraint so this is the thing you have to take care okay now let's see what are the ways to add the foreign key constraint so there are two ways to add the foreign key constraint at the time of table creation you can add the foreign key constraint and another way is when table is already exist at that time also you can add the foreign key constraint so let's see both the way one by one so guys as you can see over here this is the first way when table is creating at the time i'm creating the foreign key constraint or adding the foreign key constraint okay now you can see over here i have created the parent table which is nothing but your department table in the department table i am adding the primary key constraint on the department underscore id column okay because i have told you uh, this column has to have the primary key constraint okay so that's why i am adding over here primary key constraint on the department underscore id column of the department table okay now over here you can see i am adding the foreign key constraint over here this is nothing but your uh, keyword and this is the constraint name and this is nothing but your what constraint you are adding so over here we are adding the foreign key constraint so we have to make a or we have to write over here foreign key now over here this is my uh, column we on which i am going to add the foreign key constraint and this column is guys over here this is the employee tables column okay 
you can notice don't confuse over here and over here i am referring to my parent table and parent table is nothing but over here we have the department table and over here i am writing the which column i am referring from the department table so this is nothing but your dpt underscore id column so this is how you can add the foreign key constraint at the time of table creation okay so guys let's see second way when table is already exist then how you can add the foreign key constraint so as you can see over here this is how you can add the foreign key constraint when table is already exist so what i need to do first i need to add the primary key constraint on my parent table column correct so i have added the over here primary key constraint on the parent table column now after that i am altering existing column of the my child table so this is my child table and this is how we will add the foreign key constraint so same as it is the when table we are creating same in the same way we need to add over here also the only difference is over here i have used the alter statement over there i use the create statement okay now over here you can see uh, i have used the constraint that is nothing but your keyword okay this is constraint name and this is the constraint name or what constraint you are adding and this is nothing but your on which column you are adding the constraint and this is nothing but your uh, a parent table which is nothing my department table and from department table which column you are referring so i am referring the D dpt underscore id column okay so this is how you can add the uh, uh, foreign key constraint in the employee table now let's execute this uh, commands and let's try to insert some data over here and guys uh, before i execute this i would like to tell you that i have, we have to clear this data because if didn't clear this data then what will happen we will try to execute uh, this command then it will give error because we do not have consistent data or proper data over here we have 10 and over here we have 20 so foreign key doesn't allow the uh, this kind of value or different values in the both the columns so first we what we need to do we need to delete this data from the both the table so let me delete over here from the department table also let me delete and from the employee table also let me delete so from both the table we have deleted the data you can see over here we do not have any data over here so now let me execute this command so that it will be get successful as you can see over here it got successful now let me execute this command so this also got successful now let me try to add the some values inside the department underscore id uh, sorry department underscore table so as you can see over here uh, one row got inserted let me show you over here so in the department table now over here we have 10 value correct now i cannot insert in the employee table 20 value in the department underscore id column so let me try to add the 20 over here you can see over here let me try to insert the 20 inside the department underscore id column so let me try what will happen so as you can see over here integrity constraint uh, error came why because i have added the foreign key constraint on this column okay let me show you over here let me over here i have added the uh, foreign key constraint so that's why it is not allowing the uh, over here this 20 value because we have only 10 value over here so if i will add the over here 10 value then it will allow to insert so as you can see over here it allowed to insert the 10 value because we have 10 value over here so now you can see 10 value over here so this is how you can now guys you can try it out this way at your pc so this is assignment for you okay and now let's go for the one more assignment as usual so let's go for the assignment
So guys, I hope you have understood what exactly foreign key constraint is and this video helps you. And guys, if you have any inputs, any comments, then please, please don't forget to put that comments in the comment box because if you give me some inputs, then I will improve my videos and I will try to make my videos as close as possible to your comments. Okay, so thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.